forth and even forevermore that you are protecting them every time they go out of their house and every time they're in their house and that you are preserving their souls and protecting their souls and being abused and wounded and tortured upon Father God from any type of persecution from any persecutors in Jesus Christ's name Father God so now I'm going to go to Psalm um, 91 um, because that's important scripture for me to pray for the T.I. moms out there so I'm turning to it and I'll be to it in one minute I got to it, so now I'm going to pray Psalm 91 over My all TIs, all TI moms, rather, today, so right now, in a few minutes, as soon as I get situated Jesus, so and hold my page down. Um, Father, I thank you that all T.I. moms dwell in the secret place of the Most High. They shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, which is you, Heavenly Father. I thank you that all T.I. moms will save you, Lord, that you are their refuge and their fortress, their God, and you will they trust. Surely, you, Father God, shall deliver all T.I. moms from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. I thank you, Lord, that you shall cover all T.I. moms with your feathers. And under your wings shall all T.I. moms trust. Your truth shall be their shield and buckler. I thank you that all T.I. moms shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day, nor for the pestilence that walk it in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes it at noonday. A thousand shall fall at, T at the T.I. side, and ten thousand at the the right hand of the T.I. moms. I'm going to do that one again. I mess up. A thousand shall fall at the side of all T.I. moms and 10,000 at the right hand of T.I. moms. But it shall not come nigh any T.I. moms, Father God. Only with the eyes of T.I. moms shall they behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because the T.I. moms has made you, Lord, which is their refuge, even the most high their habitation. There shall no evil befall any T.I. moms, neither shall any plague come nigh the T.I. moms dwelling. For you, Heavenly Father, shall give your angels charge over all T.I. moms and to keep all T.I. moms in your ways, Father God. They shall bear up all T they shall bear all T.I. moms up in their hands lest all T.I. moms dash their foot against a stone. T.I. moms shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall T.I. moms trample under feet because T.I. moms shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall all T.I. moms trample under feet. Because, Father, you have set your love upon all T.I. moms, therefore will you deliver all T.I. moms, Father, and you will set all T.I. moms on high, Father, because you have known their names. You know the names of all T.I. moms out there, Father God. You know everything about them, Father, because you are an all-knowing God. And you are the one that created all the T.I. moms out there, too, in the T.I. community. And I thank you, Father, when the, the T.I. moms shall call upon you and you will answer the T.I. moms and you will be with the T.I. moms in trouble father god and you will deliver the ti moms and honor the ti moms and with long life will you satisfy all ti moms you will satisf satisfy the ti moms and show the ti moms their salvation heavenly father i thank you that your word is done in all the ti moms life according to psalm 91 verses 1 through 16 and i thank you father that you are a refuge for all the ti moms out there you are their strength, Father. You are their covering, their, their covering, their protection, Father God, their protector, Father God, from all evil, danger, and harm. And that you are sending your angels to protect all T.I. moms out there from all evil, danger, and harm, Father. And I ask that you will send your angels to encamp around all T.I. moms and their families and their children and their homes and cars, Father God, to protect their children and all T.I. moms and their children and spouses and for the ones that uh, and all uh, single T.I. moms and their homes and cars and finances and all by your powerful 
guardian angels, Father God, and to keep all evil spirited people away from T.I. moms and their families and their loved ones and away from their pets and their homes and cars in Jesus Christ's name and away from them when they're working on their jobs from the ones that do have jobs in Jesus Christ's name and Father I thank you that you are the great and mighty deliverer that you are delivering all T.I. moms from all types of bondage and slavery and persecution and abuse and harassment and torture and affliction and witchcraft and defeat and failure and frustration, Father God, and debt and poverty and lack and shortage and homelessness, eviction and all types of judgment and condemnation and shame and reproach, Father God, and imprisonment, Father God, whether it's spiritual imprisonment or physical imprisonment. And you are delivering them from all types of isolation and abuse and social poverty, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, because you are the divine deliverer for all T.I. moms, Father God. And that you are more than able to deliver all T.I. moms out there and set them on high and give them favor and mercy upon them, Father God. That you are extending mercy and favor and love and kindness to Bring deliverance for all T.I. moms that are being persecuted in any given slavery program all over the world, all over America and Canada. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, and that you are delivering these moms from despair and hopelessness and depression and oppression and and suppression and possession, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and from the oppressor and from the fowler, Father God, which is the devil, in Jesus Christ's name as well. And that you would deliver, you are delivering them out of the hands of their persecutors and perpetrators and bullies and handlers and controllers, Father God. And you're delivering them out of the hands of witches and warlocks that's controlling them through any given slavery program. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. And that you are delivering them from tyrants and tyranny and totalitarianisms, totalitarians, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And domination and control and, and stuff, Father God, and, and bondage and captivity and exile. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, you are more than willing to set the captives free, the T.I. moms free from any bondage and slavery, Father God, from any given slavery program that any of these T.I. moms are being persecuted from. In Jesus Christ's name, Father. So I just thank you, Father God, that your word is done in the lives of all these T.I. moms, Father God. And um, I feel led to go to Ezekiel uh, because, Father, I feel like you're leading me to Ezekiel chapter 13. So I'm going to pray this over the T.I. moms in chapter 13. Ezekiel chapter 13 verses, um, I'm going to go from 20 to 23. Um, but I encourage all T.I. moms out there that's interested to read the entire chapter of Ezekiel chapter 13. Uh, it's a very interesting chapter and it's a good chapter. It's based on any type of witchcraft and slavery of any given slavery program back in those days. And the same program in slavery that all your T.I. moms out there are being persecuted from and being held in slavery. And it's witchcraft connected to all these slavery programs that you guys are going out there, out, going through out there in the T.I. community. The T.I. moms that's going through these slavery programs, it's witchcraft connected to it, it's witches connected to it, divinations behind it, sorceries behind it. That's why things are going Toxy turvy in your life behind the witchcraft, behind the witches praying against you guys. And I had not known that for many years why the stuff was so toxic turvy in my life. And I found out much later, when I was much older and several years ago, that a lot of the stuff that's been going down in my life is because witches have been praying against me. And Operating through any of the slavery programs in the covert gain stocking program, over gain stocking program, human trafficking, you name it. And witches is behind that and they pray their little pillows and billows and stuff and her, her sheets and, and 
Father God, you know, God is against that of what the devil is doing and what the witches and warlocks are doing in these slavery programs. He for, he's for, against that and and he will adjudicate and eradicate that evil of these slavery programs and all this witchcraft that's connected to these slavery programs that all you T.I. moms out there are going through, whatever slavery program that you're being persecuted by. So I'm going to read this because I want y'all to get it and then I'm going to pray it so y'all can get the full meaning of it, scope of it. I'm going to do Ezekiel chapter 13, verses 20 through 23. I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to pray it over you guys. So just a moment as I get situated. And I think I'm going to play another song, Six Questions. Um, I'm going to read um, now. Wherefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows. Wherefore? Ye there hunt the souls to make them fly. I'm going to start over again because I want to say this more clear. In verse 20, verses in chapter Ezekiel chapter 13. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows. Wherewith ye, wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly? And I will tear them from your arms and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. Your curse sheets also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. What? Sorry about that. Because with lies ye have made the heart of the righteous sad. Whom I have not made sad, and strengthen the hands of the wicked, that he should not return from his wicked way by promising him life. Therefore, ye shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations. I'm going to say that again. Therefore, ye shall see no more vanity, nor divine divinations, for I will deliver my people out of your hand. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. That's the end of that that chapter. Um, so I read Ezekiel chapter 13 verses 20 through 23. It's a very interesting chapter. I read it probably a couple times and I'm going to read it in the future sometime. But I wanted to explain what I'm reading to you. This is talking about in the in the ancient days, you know, in the old biblical days, in the Old Testament days, evidently. Um, this is about the same thing that they're doing in these programs that we're being persecuted in in the TI community. That I'm being persecuted in the Cobra Gain Stocking program. Is they was doing the same thing back then with the witchcraft and the sorcery and the divination and targeting innocent souls. To slay them and to hunt them down and slay them for human sacrifice. So back in those days, and they're doing it today in these slavery programs. Uh, for human sacrifice and to the devil and to Molech, to Baal, or whatever. So it's the same thing just like it was back then in the old biblical days. It's the same thing today and more like worse today because more people have grown to be more evil and more full of demons and increasing in evil so it's worse today so than it was back then so this is what God is saying wherefore thus said the Lord God behold I am against your pillows so God is against what these witches are doing the pillows that the witches are doing that wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly you know, so he was against these witches going out, these evil doers and perpetrators going out to hunt the innocent souls to make them fly. And tearing them from and then father and then you then God is saying that since these people, these evil doers are doing that to the innocents and hunting them down, hunting their souls to make them fly to keep running from one place to another, causing them to move from one place to another, one job to another, whatever. 
God is saying, I will tear them from your arms. So he will tear all TIs, all people that are being hot.